anyone that has watched this channel for a while will know that I love old poverty spec basic cars, especially something boxy and old like this, especially also if they are Eastern European like this right here. This is a law friendly car. So this is of course a rune, just like the other, the rune Cheberek and all the other cars that we get inside of GTA regularly. This is the rune Avar or Ajvar if you wanted to say it wrong. I'm presuming it is Avar if it is a Eastern European car. This I believe, I mean it kind of looks like a Yugo. That is the first thought. That body shape right there instantly makes me think Yugo. I might be wrong, especially with these Eastern European cars because there are so many that I've just never heard of before. Uh, so if this is not a Yugo and this is something else, let me know what the car this is supposed to be in the comment section below. I'm quite interested to see. But this thing has a bunch of tuning parts, so you guys know the deal by now. We're going to check this car out. We're going to modify it, make a couple of builds, and let's see how we go. So let's just park over here and take a closer look. And I think a car such as this would fit perfectly into this vibrant little alleyway of shopping right here. So let's just take a closer look. So here we are with the side profile. This looks like something I would try and make in automation. <laughs> that is, it's definitely giving me some strong automation vibes. I kind of want to see if I could build this in automation. Absolutely love the basicness of this. I'm just so into boxy sort of 70s, 80s cars that are very sort of primitive looking. There's not much going on with the styling. And that basicness, there's something about that is it's like a blank canvas for me. There's so much potential in this. Although we're yet to see what sort of mods we have. Actually, first of all, before we do the mods, let's have a look around the car. I'm just going to open up the doors. I'll open up the bonnet and we'll open up the boot and have a look inside. So here we have the engine. Pretty basic uh, in terms of modeling, but actually a pretty substantial engine for this sort of car. I would expect a very small car with a carburetor, some some very tiny little engine in there. Uh, but this is actually quite substantial for this. And then in the rear, we have this actually quite roomy boot space. I guess when you don't have to worry about sort of larger panels and sort of crash safety, you can actually get quite a lot of room inside of a small car. Here we have the dashboard. Lovely, old, classic, boxy. Ticks all the boxes for me. I love it does actually sort of kind of remind me of my old Mitsubishi Colt in a way. Uh, although this is left-hand drive. We've got all the manual gearbox and everything. Got these nice old classic style. I think these are the Rune logos, aren't they? Okay, there's a lot of chatty people. I might have to scare some people with a gun in a second just to clear them. Uh, but yeah, we've got some really nice patterning going on. Looking pretty solid. Got these nice hubcaps right here. Very small exhausts. Plastic bumpers, very simplistic. I love it. Okay, let's have a closer look at all the mods then. But let's just point guns at people first, because actually they kind of annoy me. They're talking way too much. Although now we've got screaming, that's not really worked out. So let's start off with what we've got in Benny's Customs. We've got some dial options. We've got a pod mounted taco. Okay, this is really going in a direction I wasn't expecting. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's try and make this first build a sleeper then. I want to make this sort of like a, a roughly modified sleeper version. On this, this is going to be the boost upgrade. That's not something visual. Then we have the liveries. We've got a lot of options here. Lots of OEM graphics. Ooh, I am all for this sort of stuff. Okay, we've got a lot of different color options here. Some of these don't really look very classic, especially like this modern one. This orange and brown one looks perfect. That would go really nice with like a, I don't know, a beige or something. This dark grey and black works nicely as well. And the white. Yeah, some of these are definitely like forced retro. I don't think you'd uh, actually get a car of this age that would have that sort of colour on it. But definitely some very cool options here, including uh, Yugoslavian colours as well. Or Dutch or French, depending on which way you look at it. We've also got some uh, tonal ones as well, which will match better with whatever colour we pick. We have this other version. Oh, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Have that in a bunch of different colors as well. I really wish that Rockstar would do this sort of thing. So many cool options. And then we have the turbo one in pink, yellow, which looks amazing, and black. Now, I did want to make this one a sleeper model, so I'm not going to go for that. I think I'm going to go for the OEM stripes in the three-tone. 
in, I think, this one. Three-tone number two with the darker tone on the top. I think that's going to look good. So, moving on, we have the spoiler options. This is going to be a little rubbery spoiler. Actually, quite a large rubbery spoiler here. Have we got one down the bottom? I really hope we got a bottom one. No, we don't. Okay. We also have that painted. And then we have <laughs> an absolutely massive rear-mounted time attack wing. Wow. Okay, yeah, that really doesn't suit this car, but I'm kind of curious to see what a build that has that in it. But uh, for this one, I think I'm going to go... I did say I wanted to make this like a sleeper, which would kind of mean that a lot of these parts would be useless. I might have to do these for the second build. I'm going to keep that spoilerless for now, but I'll be honest, I really wished we had a bottom one, one that went along this, uh, this line here between, well, that angle there. That is where I really like spoilers on these uh, sort of hatchbacks from the 80s. On the front bumper, we have the stock. We have the plastic splitter right there. Pretty big. Then we have that with the fogs. We could definitely make a nice tuna model. I'll make a, a tuna model like a specced up factory model one. I'll try and do that after. We also have the rally. Oh. Wow. What? <laughs> I have never seen an AI drive that dangerously before. Are they drunk? Well, thanks. To be honest, it kind of makes it have a bit more character, and I kind of like that. We'll continue. So we have the rally fogs and splitter as well, which has also got a little bit of the uh, livery down the bottom there. So also got some stuff on the fog lights as well. Got the rune badging, rune written on it. We also have the remove bumper option as well for a full stripped out race look. And then we have that with the rally splitter and the tow hook as well. Well, I did say I wanted to make this a sleeper, which means I think we're going to end up with everything kind of stock on this one. Although, to be honest, if I was to do this pure sleeper, then I wouldn't change anything. So I might have to throw that idea out the window. Okay, I'm going to do this as the stripped out racer look then. So I'm going to go for remove bumper and rally splitter, which means on the spoiler... I'm going to go for the uh, the plastic one, maybe. Actually, to be honest, I don't really like any of the spoilers, so I'm not going to force myself to use them. On the rear, we have the... Uh, oh, just the option of remove bumper, which I guess is going to suit us on the front as well. I do like how the bumpers look, though, but we're going to have this stripped out. Then we have a full roll cage as well, which adds a giant fuel tank into the boot as well. Still keeps the standard seats. I'm sure we can change these at some point, hopefully. Then we have the options for a wide body. Oh my god. Okay, that is incredible. <laughs> that is definitely big. We also have the mud flaps option as well, which has the rune logos. I think not for this first build, but we'll definitely add that in the second build. Then we have the window net as well, if you we wanted to have this like a full spec out rally car. I'm kind of against that at the moment though. Then on the roof, we have the option of the sun strip. Or we have the luggage rack as well. There are so many different ways that we can modify this. I'm just going to go for stock roof. And it doesn't seem that we have racing seat options. Do we have any extras? Ah, we do. And it's just for the little aerial at the top there. That's actually kind of a shame. We have all of that. I kind of wish we had like a stripped out thing that just added some racing seats. Just to make it more of a racer. It does seem kind of odd that you would strip it out and then keep the same seats even though they, they've got a little bit of a bolster to them to be fair for a base spec car these have got a little bit of bolstering to them so we'll upgrade everything drop the suspension down actually gives it a pretty sizable drop to be honest i might uh, knock that up a couple actually for paints let's go for classic gloss and uh, something dark and old looking something that oh something like this that is perfect. Mind you, if we've stripped this out, I kind of feel like I would have, like, resprayed this or something, so... But I'm definitely using that gold on another build, though, for sure. i tell you what, I'm, there is actually so many different ways that I could take this that I just cannot decide. Because I really want to go retro, and then I want to do a race one, so I'm actually going to make this grey. Something as basic as just dark steel. That'll work. Right, let's just get this on the flat land so we can check out the wheels. And uh, let's use the new street category, because I'm thinking... Steel wheels. There we go. That instantly makes this look so much better. Although they are incredibly thin as stock. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're going to go to V-Stancer. We're going to make those more wide. There we go. That's a little better. Need to get more. More. That's 
that substantial, I'd say. I'm sure that would that would take having a bit more power with some uh, extra grip from that. And uh, yeah, let's make them a little smaller, actually. Oh, what is it with all of the... What is going on with the AI drivers? I guess he decided to park there and just crash into me at the start. Yeah, cheers, fella. And then for the track width, we'll sort of like keep that in so it doesn't look too silly. And we'll drop that a little bit as well. Yeah, this isn't something dialed in. This is just a case of like cheap build, rip the things off, tried to make it lightweight, tried to make it racer, added some wider wheels, but weren't too expensive. They're just steel wheels. I think that works. I did notice that we didn't have any exhaust options though. So we can't go for an upgraded exhaust on this one. But with the power of the multiplier here and uh, engine audio, because this sounds a little bit rickety as well, so I'm going to make this sound a little bit quicker. Let's try this. The Michelli GT, I kind of feel like that's the same sort of era. It sounds kind of old, but yeah, it sounds like a bigger engine, but still kind of old and not sort of like crazy modern. I think this works. This is actually pretty quick. Whoa, okay. Definitely didn't time that right. Although, where it's taken the glass out on the front headlights, that's an interesting look. This is repair vehicle. Oof, that was a big change. Oh, for... This is getting crazy now. I'm just going to leave that. Actually, I think that's actually bent my wheel in. Yeah, this thing damages quite easily. <laughs> but there we go. That's a simple first build. Now, I'm just going to do a couple more builds and see what else we can get out of this. So, let's pull over here. And try the next build okay so here we are with the first build and i'm definitely gonna do a couple more because i've definitely got a couple more ideas in mind but for this one i wanted to go for the sort of like cheap slammed ratty look so i've just made this dirty i've gone for a matte gray i go for matte gray over matte black because i think that this actually looks more like a real life matte black this is normally how it ends up looking it's never normally like super like vanta black or anything and then i went for these red banded steels as well and I just went for this little plastic splitter on the front just to add a little more. And it's just as simple as that. It's literally just paint, dirt, <laughs> painted wheels, slam, wide camber. And uh, I just kind of like, there's definitely like, a, that is definitely a scene in, in the modified scene, uh, the sort of budget scene, especially like in Eastern Europe, I've definitely seen this sort of style happening. I don't know if it's still happening right now, but this is definitely a sort of thing that you would expect to see, like a modified larder in Russia might look like this. I've definitely seen some pictures of some very interesting stanced out larders and stuff, or just other Eastern European cars in general. Right then, let's move on to the next one because I really want to use those wide body arches. Okay, now here is the next one. I decided to go all out. I wanted to go full turbo livery. I wanted the spoiler. And to be honest, it actually looks all right. Now, I was a bit unsure about the spoiler at first, but with everything put together, I think it works quite nicely. We've also got the splitter with the uh, fog lights as well at the front. Then we've got the uh, super stretched wheels as well, just to fit in there. And we've also got these wide arches. Now, sadly, the arches are so thin that it's very hard to get flush just because it just wants to stick through the wheels, which is a shame, so I couldn't do any sort of cambering. But I decided to do more of like a, like a straight line Thing, nothing sort of like cambery and stancy. This is just stuck out to the arches. Tries to look a little bit racery. And also, as I spawned it in, I also decided to make this look a little bit more uh, scratched up and scuffed up. So I've also smashed that rear light there and scratched it along the side, which I guess actually adds to the theme of that one as well. Whereas this one's nice and gleaming. Now I do want to do one more. It's. I just wanted to do something a little more basic. I just wanted to do a, a, a twist on the original with some nice colours and wheels just to see how it looked. So let's give that a quick try. Okay, here's the final build. All I wanted to do, I just wanted to get that livery. I wanted some brown paint. I wanted some dirt. I wanted the steel wheels, although these are a little deep dish, but it's the best I can get. I just wanted to see how this looked as just a used beat-up version, not like a nice gleaming one. And I think... I've hit the mark. This actually looks pretty good. Now, the other thing I didn't mention was you can actually change the color of the interior. So this one I've kept standard. Same as on this one, we kept it standard as well. But then on this one, I made it gray, as I think actually suits quite nicely. And that's quite an old style color as well. My old Mitsubishi Colt used to have a pretty much identical color to this in the dashboard. And then on this one, I actually made it darker inside. I made a nice blacker one. 
which again I think really adds to the whole tunery aspect. And then with this one, of course, I've just kept it with that standard sort of like creamy, goldy sort of colour. And it just looks amazing. I did also want to try, let's just go back to Minus Customs. There was that other gold colour that we found as well, wasn't there? Let's see, how does the gold look? Actually, not as good now. I've got to say that that brown just really nails it. Even Bison Brown, all of these browns look pretty solid with this car. There we go, Beechwood Brown. There we go, a bunch of different versions of this Rune Avar. I'll put a link in the description where you can go ahead and download this law friendly Eastern European car for GTA 5. Which is your favorite build? Do you like the stripped out basic racer one with the cage? Do you like this sort of ratty, slammed one that's, um, I'm sure I stunt, did I not camber that and stance it? I swear I did, it might have just reset where I hit it. We also have this one, big, massive stance on this one, very wide with the wide arches and the spoiler and the blue paint and the turbo. That's looking pretty smart. Or do you just like the old ratty brown one? Let me know in the comment section below. But that is it. If you have watched all the way to the end of this video, you can say uh, parking in the comment section below. Parking in the comment section below. Just let me know you watched the whole thing. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh.